hello welcome to how to solve this exponential equation 3 to the power x minus 2 to the power x is equal to square root of 6 to the power x first of all we convert this radical form in exponential form 3 to the power x minus 2 to the power x is equal to in exponential form this square root of 6 to the power x can be written as 6 to the power x whole to the power 1 over 2. Next 3 to the power x minus 2 to the power x is equal to according to the property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This power x will be multiplied by this power 1 over 2. 6 to the power x times 1 over 2 x over 2. Next we divide both sides by 2 to the power x. We divide each term by 2 to the power x. First term divided by 2 to the power x. Second term divided by 2 to the power x. And the third term divided by 2 to the power x. This 2 to the power x will be cancelled with this 2 to the power x and here left 1 3 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 6 to the power x over 2 divided by now because here we have 6 to the power x over 2 so we make same power of this 2 as x over 2 this 2 to the power x has power 1 here and 1 is equal to 1 over 2 times 2. So, we replace this 1 with 1 over 2 times 2. 2 to the power x whole to the power we replace this 1 with this 1 over 2 times 2. 1 over 2 times 2. Next, 3 to the power x over 2 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 6 to the power x over 2 divided by according to this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power x with this 1 over 2. x times 1 over 2 becomes x over 2. And we write the power x over 2 outside the brackets and we move this power 2 inside the bracket. 2 to the power 2 whole to the power x over 2. Next, 3 to the power x divided by 2 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 6 to the power x over 2 divided by square of 2 is 4 to the power x over 2. Next, according to the property of exponents a to the power n over b to the power n is equal to a over b whole to the power n. We can write this 3 to the power x over 2 to the power x as 3 over 2 and whole to the power x minus 1 is equal to and we can write this 6 to the power x over 2 divided by 4 to the power x over 2 as 6 over 4 whole to the power x over 2. Now at right side we have power x over 2 and left side we have power x. We make this power x same as this power x over 2. We can write this 3 over 2 whole to the power x as 3 over 2 whole to the power x and whole to the power 1 is equal to we can simplify this 6 over 4 as 2 2 times and 2 3 times. So, it becomes 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2. Now, because this power 1 1 is equal to 
1 over 2 times 2. We replace this 1 with 1 over 2 times 2. And according to the property of exponents, we multiply this power x with this power 1 over 2. 3 over 2 whole to the power x times 1 over 2 x over 2 whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2. Here we have negative 1 and here is negative 1. Now, here we have 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2 and here we have 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2. So, we suppose that let 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2 is equal to y. Then this equation becomes y square minus 1 is equal to y and we move this y to the left side y square minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and can be solved by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to negative 1. And according to quadratic formula y is equal to minus value of b minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 1. divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next y is equal to minus minus plus 1 plus minus square root of square of negative 1 is 1 and minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 is plus 4 divided by 2 times 1 2. Next y is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4 5 divided by 2. So, from here we have two values of y. y is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and y is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2 is equal to y. We have supposed 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2 is equal to y. Now, at left side of this equation, we have a positive value. 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2. So, the value of y must be positive, y must be greater than 0 and because 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is, is less than 0. So, we reject this value, we only accept this value of y 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2 is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now, because at left side we have base 3 over 2. So, we take log base 3 over 2 of both sides. Log base 3 over 2 of 3 over 2 whole to the power x over 2 is equal to log base 3 over 2 of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Next, according to the property of logarithms, log base b of b to the power a 
is equal to a this log base 3 over 2 of 3 over 2 to the power x over 2 is equal to x over 2 is equal to log base 3 over 2 of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and if we multiply both sides by 2 we get the value of x is equal to 2 times log base 3 over 2 of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 this is the final answer and if we put this value in calculator we get the value of x approximately equal to 2.3736